in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the heart of the faithful. Send forth your Spirit, O Lord, and they shall be created. Let us pray, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did install the heart of the faithful, grant by the same Holy Spirit, we may be truly wise and ever the just in consolation. Through the same Christ, our Lord, Amen. Amen. You, O Lord, shall open our lips. And our tongue shall not also pray. Incline unto our aid, O God. O Lord, make haste to help us. All glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be, world without to the end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, who was crucified, dead, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, set at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the, the communion, communion of saints, the forgiveness, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and our our death. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Brothers and sisters, wherever you are now, I want you to begin to appreciate the Almighty God, the God of Zion Ministry, the God of Prophet Evangelist, Ebukobi Anozie. I want you to worship this God who made it possible for you and I to be in the land of the living today. It is not by our righteousness nor by our holiness. It's not because we are good. Or it's not because we are getting it right that we are still alive. It is by his love. It is by his mercy. So therefore, child of God, worship God. Appreciate the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Appreciate the Emmacarious God. Appreciate the omnipotent and the, the omniscient God. The God who holds life and death. Abba, Father, I worship you, O God, for giving me the privilege, O God, to sit before your servant at this time, O Lord, to minister to your children. Papa, I glorify your holy name because I am not worthy. Papa, I worship you for who you are, O God. Thank you for your grace upon your ministry. Thank you, O Lord, for your affair in our life. Praise be to your holy name. In the life of all the Zionites all over the world. Thank you for those who believe in your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, O Lord, for the faith you gave to your children. You are faithful. So therefore, Father, we worship you. We glorify your holy name. Now and forever in the name of Jesus. Amen. To God be the glory. To God be the honor. To God be be adoration forevermore in me. To God be the glory, to 
To God be the honor, to God be the glory. Ikalele hasene bu chineke, ikalele hasene bu. Ikalele hasene bu, oye ne me ma, ikalele hasene bu. Ne ni gwe, ne no wa, ikasene bu. Oye ne me ma, daddy mo. Ebu bu mo zayo no gami ikalele asene bu. Father, we thank you for your faithfulness, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. This hour, I want you to confess your sin before Him. The Bible says that for all have sinned and come short of His glory. You and I have sinned. Father, we are sorry. Lord Jesus, I am deeply sorry, O oh Lord. For every sense of thought, Father, for every sense of omission and commission, Father, I am sorry, O Lord, for the sense of mind, Papa, I am sorry, I am sorry, O Lord, for any evil contribution I have made to anyone's life, Father, I am sorry, Father, in any way I have disappointed you as your son, Papa, in any way that devil and his agent have accused you because of my shortcoming. Papa, I am sorry. Papa, please, show me your mercy. That mercy that you showed to Mary Magdalene, even though she was an adulterous woman all her life, but in an encounter with you, Lord Jesus, you showed her mercy. Papa, let the same mercy, O oh Lord, come into my life, come into my family. Papa, forgive all the Zionites all over the world. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Upon our sins, we plead the blood of Jesus. Lord, Lord Jesus. Upon the sins of the sinners all over the world, we plead the blood of Jesus. Lord, Lord Jesus. Upon that sin that the enemy will use to accuse us, we plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, Lord Jesus. May this blood shed on the cross of Calvary wash us and cleanse us in the name of Jesus. Amen. This hour, I want you to welcome the Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit, we can do nothing. Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you. Holy Spirit of God, you are highly welcome. The God of Zion ministry, we need you, we need you, we need you. Come into our life, come into our life. Renew us, O Holy Spirit of God. Awaken every dead gift in us, O Holy Spirit. You are the strength of the faithful. Holy Spirit of God. The Bible said that when the apostles gathered in the upper room, they could not do anything because the Father has not sent the spirits. Not until when you came upon the apostles that they could stand and they preach and they pray to the people. So therefore, Father, we cannot pray without you. We cannot do anything good without you. Come and energize us. Come and strengthen us. Come and empower us. Come and renew us. Come and make us believers in the name of Jesus. We stand this hour against every forces of darkness, against every principalities and powers, against every opposition of the Zion ministry. Father, by the authority and power in the name of Jesus, Father, we lend up powerless every evil altar, every satanic altar, every coven, wherever our name has been placed before any deity or any altar. Father, in the name of Jesus, Papa, locate such altar tonight and let every altar speaking negatively against your children anywhere. Let that altar catch fire. Let that altar catch fire. Let that altar catch fire and let your children be set free from every bondage in the name of Jesus. We cover tonight with the blood of Jesus. We cover tonight with the blood of Jesus. We cover tonight with the blood of Jesus. And we decree that before the end of this program, that you will receive the blessings of Almighty God in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to do well to share this post. 
so that it can get to others who are not watching at this time. Our topic tonight says, the wave will not destroy you. The wave will not destroy you. I want somebody to help me to read the book of Zechariah 10, 8 to 11. Zechariah Zechariah 10, 8 to 11. Yeah. I will call my people and gather them together. It's God that's speaking at this time. So pay attention. And he says, I will call my people. Not Prophet Ebukobi this time calling you. Not Brother Chibo, but God saying, I will call my people. I will rescue them and make them a numer as numerous as they That he's to going to rescue you. I don't know what you are passing through as a child of God. Or the battle you are into right now. But the Lord is saying that he's going to rescue you. Not only that he will rescue you. He will make you a numerous nation. That is to say that the Lord is going to make you to be somebody. Though I have scattered them among the nations. Even though that in the time when we are in ignorance. Even though that in the time when we overlook some certain things that we should be doing as believers, that God was angry with us, and in anger, he decided to overlook. Yet, in far off places, they will remember me. They and their children will survive and return home together. From Egypt and Assyria, I will bring them home and settle them in their own country. At that time that God was very angry to the people of Israel, he allowed the enemy to take them into captivity. He allowed the enemy to arrest them. He allowed the enemy to took them into exile. But today in exile. Go I will on. settle them in Gilead and Lebanon also. The whole land will be filled with people. When they pass through their sea of trouble, I, the Lord, will strike the waves, and the depths of the Nile will go dry. Proud Assyria will be humbled, and mighty Egypt will lose her power. Amen. Amen. That child of God, in the book of Zechariah, where we just read, it is the word of God. To the people of Israel. At a time in the life of the people of Israel. They forsake their God. They abandoned their God. By committing one sin or the other. That the Lord had told them earlier not to commit. And when this was done. God, we are not happy anymore. And the, the Lord God at this time allowed their enemy to arrest them. Allowed their enemy to took them into exile. But there in the exile, the Lord is still consigned. Because so many children of God today have in one way or the other committed a sin that made God to keep silent in their pain. Many believers today are in pain. Many believers today are in sorrow. Many believers today are even dying. And the humanly to them, they might have concluded that God is nowhere they might have concluded that there is no power in the Lord again. Not at all. They in the exile, even though that these people of Israel committed a terrible sin. I may not say this is the gravity of sin or their offense to God. But God, we are not happy with them. 
And it was because he was not happy with them that he allowed the enemy to invent their land and took them into captivity. Ordinarily, no enemy can dare the children of God. If a child of God is in a state of grace, if a child of God is in good time with God, no enemy will dare that child of God. The enemy can dare you when you are not in a good relationship, when you are not in a page with God. And it was at this time in the life of the children of God that their enemy lay hands upon and took them into captivity. But even though they were in exile, the Lord did not overlook them. The Lord was still watching closer to know the way their enemy is treating them. Because so many children of God, when they have a problem, in that problem, God may look unconsigned. Why? Because God at this time wants them to retrace their step. God at this time may want to correct them, but not by himself directly. God may allow the enemy because I realized that it was in a time of challenges. It was in a time of trouble that so many remember God. When everything is working fine and good to children of God, they don't remember God. And the God at this time was watching closer to them. God did not abandon them. So in that your case, don't think that God has abandoned you. For the Bible says in the book of Isaiah 49, 15 and 16, he said, can a, a woman abandon his sucking baby? The Bible said no. And he said that your name has been written at the palm of my hand. So that is to say that God is much concerned about your condition. God is much concerned about your trouble. That's why he said that we should tell you today that that wave will never destroy you. In the life of children of God, there are so many waves. There are waves of sin that the children of God, so many daughters and sons of God have, have found themselves in ocean of sin. That so many have prayed, even gone to confession, seeking the help of people in order to come out of it, and they yet they cannot help themselves. It became a wave of sin at that point, very hard upon them. But in that wave, child of God, it will never destroy you. Because God is still concerned about you. Your soul is important to God. And because you were created in the likeness and the, in the image of God, God cannot allow his own to be destroyed. God cannot allow his own to perish. So child of God, in that trouble and the, in that state where you are right now, that is not giving you joy, don't give up yet. Because that wave is not going to destroy you. Amen. Many children of God are in, into a wave of sorrow. That sorrow is everywhere. Even when they are trying to be happy a little. Even when they are struggling, engaging themselves in so many things for them to feel happy. And they yet, they end up seeing themselves dwelling in the ocean of sorrow. And the, to them, they think that God has forget them. They think that God has abandoned them. Child of God, I want to tell you that the Bible says in the book called Psalm Psalm 139, 1 down to 3, the Lord says that even, even if you are deep down in the, in the bottom of the ocean of the sea, that he, the Lord, can see you. The Lord sees you. And because he sees you, he knows that you are in that sorrow. And therefore, the wave of that sorrow will never condemn you. Will never destroy you. 
something happened in the book of Job 1 and 2. At the time, there was a, a heavy wave of destruction. There was a, a heavy wave of destruction of property, of destruction of everything that Job had. And to Job, it seemed as if God is nowhere. But one thing I realized from Job, that Job know his God. Child of God, if you know your God, whatever trouble, whatever predicament, whatever trial you are passing through, child of God, I assure you that you are going to come out of it. If only you know what God can do. Job never allowed the destruction to sweep him away. That even in the Job 2 verse 9 the by and 10, the Bible says that at the time that his wife says, is it, is it not a hard time that you cause this God and the die? Are you still believing in this man that you called your God? But Job did not listen to him. Child of God, so many advice will come in the time of wave. So many advisors will come your way to tell you that you're supposed to do it this way, that you're supposed to visit here, that you're supposed to visit there in order to get a solution. Child of God, a solution can never come except if that solution comes from the Lord. But Job realized whom the Lord is. Job knew that all he has acquired was not by his hard work. Because so many of us thought that what we have is by our hard work. So therefore, we will use everything to protect it. So many Igbo young men and there's so many rich men in the world today are using everything they can in order to protect their wealth without knowing that if that wealth had truly come from the Lord, that they don't need any power in order to protect it. The Lord allowed the wave. One thing is to know if the wave coming your way is from the Lord or from the Satan. Because sometimes God may allow a wave to shake you. More especially we that are going astray. We that pride is in us. We that think that we are doing it on our own. God may allow a small wave in order to let us know that it's not by our making that we are where we are. I have told people severally that so many children of God that are serving God will not be serving God if things is working out fine for them. But so many today have come back to God. Why? Because things is no longer the way it used to be. At that point in the life of Job, Job did not give up. So child of God, I urge you tonight never to give up in the time of wave of destruction in your life. Amen. So many Christians today, their own wave is the wave of sickness. You are suffering cancer and it's not enough. Tumor is coming out. As it's not enough, diabetes have followed. As it's not enough, the, 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 the low sugar is there. That you don't know what, and what to do and which way to go. It became a wave of sickness. It became so hard on you. But child of God, the Bible says in Psalm 46, verse 10, He said, be still and know that I am God. If you can be still a child of God in that your time of sickness, child of God, the Lord is going to visit you. Because the Bible says in the book of Jeremiah 32, 27, that he said, I am the Lord of all flesh, that nothing is difficult for me to do. It's not difficult for God to do what he can do. Because he says that this God can suddenly and instantly make a nobody to become somebody, make somebody who is not important to become important. If only you can persevere in the time that there is trial in the time that there is challenges, in the time that there is pain, in the time that everything seems as safe, that all is backsliding. Because it could be a wave, but that wave will not lead you to death. 
in the book of Mark 4, 25 to 35 to 40, the Bible said that a day came that Jesus and the apostle were to cross over to the other side. But in the midst of the river, in the midst of the high sea, there was a very strong wave that wanted to capsize the sea, the, the, the boat. But little did they know at that point that Jesus is still the master, that Jesus is still on top of the game. Child of God, God is still on top of that game in your life. Amen. Any game going on in your life, it could be game of divorce. It could be game of sorrow that you have prayed and prayed and prayed. Every psalm, you have even visited a spiritual director. He have wrote a prayer for you. You have did that prayer and everything still the same as it was. Child of God, don't kill yourself because the master is still much around. He is the only one that knows what to do. And then you cannot command God. I cannot command God. So many times, people will call and say, Bro, Chibu, I don't know what to do. Are you sure that this God will still answers prayer? And I will tell them categorically that God answers prayer. That if he has not answered now, does not mean that he will not answer tomorrow. Because there is appointed time for everyone and for everything. But what I learned about human beings is that human beings, they don't want, human beings don't want challenge. But challenge must come because it's part of life. So child of God, every challenge you are going through, I want you to be patient and know what God can do. For the Bible says, be still and know that God is still God. Don't give up in your faith in the time of this wave because the wave will never destroy you. Amen. Many are in a wave of barrenness. Why the Bible says that no woman in our land will be barren or have miscarriage. But yet, so many believers today are passing through such experience. And it became a wave that killing them dearly. But child of God, I want you to hearken unto the word of God. For the word of God is God himself. And the Bible said that instead of the word of God will not come to pass, that the heaven and earth will pass away. But the word of God will come to pass. If the Lord has assured us that no woman will be barren in our land, that wave of barrenness may be heavy on you, may be heavy in your marriage now, and to you, you think you are not going to conceive. That was how it was in the time of in the life of Hannah, and it seemed that Hannah will not conceive, that even Penina and her children was on her every day, abusing and they cursing her, even, I don't know the name, they might have been calling her, like today, that so many of us are receiving so many names, that people will tell you, who know whether you are a woman, who know if this is this, who know if you have not eaten up your whole children. Child of God, God is still a mercy for God. Even if you have ate your children in the time past, God can still give you another chance. Zion ministry have opened our eyes to know that God is the God of mercy because so many times our spiritual director may count one, two, three and they tell somebody, do you know what it means? And he say, yes indeed, I know what it means. It was my mistake. And the yet, right there and the now, he will tell the person, that God has shown you mercy. If God is the God of mercy, that wave of destruction is not going to destroy you. Mm. So many children of God are in a wave of disappointment. So many ladies today, they are crying day and night. Why? Because they are dying. They are dying because of the experience of a, of a disappointment that that young man or that boy that they have so much believed that she will be the one that will give them that peace that they needed to settle as a, as a woman all of a sudden. Without any cause. One called me the other day. He said, Brother Chibo, do you know that every arrangement has been made? Do you know, Brother Chibo, that even the date has been fixed? Do you know that, Chibo, that we have even sold the clothes that we are going to use for the trash? I, I don't know how they used to 
to, to say it. You know, we form everything traditional. They say trad. They have sewed the, the, the clothes. Just all of a sudden, this young man disappeared without any report. Even his family cannot tell a story of his whereabouts. He says, seven years have gone now, Chibo, and I am still in that mess. Chibo, I don't know what to do. I say, Chibo too, don't know what you will do. But God knows what you will do. And God knows what to do. As many that are in a sorrow, as many that are passing through the corridor of disappointment, I have the good news tonight that God say, for no more shall my people be disappointed again. Sister, for no more shall you be disappointed again because God is a master in a hopeless cases. Are you in a hopeless situation that you don't know what to do? Child of God, in that midst of trial, in that midst of challenges, in that midst of trial, in that midst of pain, in that midst of disappointment, I can see a green light coming. God will perfect everything that concerns you. So therefore, every wave that standing by to destroy you, that wave is not going to destroy you. Every wave in your father's house, every wave of no peace that tearing your family apart, child of God, because Jesus is a master of peace, Jesus will step his feet into your family today. That peace, that peace that there is nowhere among your children, that peace that there is nowhere between you and your husband. You have made every effort possible in order to bring your husband down. Even You have even begged him and said that fault is mine. Even when fault was not your own. And yet the man doesn't want to hear. Child of God, the peace you are looking for will suddenly come into this family. All you have to do, child of God, is to look unto the Lord. For the Bible says that he is the author and he is the finisher. In the midst of the ocean, when the apostle and Jesus was in that on top of the sea, Satan thought that he would succeed at that point. But Jesus stood and they calmed the storm. That storm in your family, Jesus will calm it. That storm in your business. You have invested so much, and in that business, there is no result. In fact, you have borrowed from bank, and you cannot pay back today. You are even into debt, so many debts, that the wave is about to destroy you. You are about to commit suicide. Child of God, don't commit suicide, because God is still on the throne. And because God is still on the throne, God knows what to do. Because even there in the SI, if you rest him attentively to where we read, even there in the SI, the Lord did not forget the SI and because the Lord did not forget the SI, this God will not forget your family the Lord did not forget Hannah in the time that everybody were cursing and they abusing her for not having a child at a time even when people least expected it, the Lord blessed her, child of God is a time for your own blessing, your sorrow is over your wave is over over because Jesus, the Bible says that God will arise and show mercy on Zion because none is the hour to show Zion mercy. And the scripture says that sorrow may endure by the night, but joy will come in the morning. So therefore, child of God, I can see your joy coming. I can see your joy coming Amen. because there is a saying that will always be a light at the end of tunnel. Child of God, the end will justify and that the Lord God will rescue you. The Lord God will save you because the Bible said in the book of Psalm 91 4 10, it said for them that love me, for them that acknowledge me, that I'm going to rescue them, that I'm going to save them, I am going to reward them with a long life. Child of God, you are not going to die in that your sickness. Child of God, you are not going to perish in that your case. The Lord will see you through. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Sister Mo, Onyo Lebu Ben Oni Subo, 
Oja to na kio Brother no yo lo bube no ni subo Sister O nyo lo bube no ni subo Oja to kwa na kio O no ni subo Oluwo, 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 oluwo. Biago sani ne bochuku. Oluwo, oluwo, oluwo Jesu. Oluwo biago sani ne bochuku. Oye ne mema. Oluwo, oluwo, oluwo. Daddy mo. I can't go ya, Oluwo, 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 Oluwo. There goes a new name, Chuku. Chuku ye ne mi ye ne ba mazamo. Chuku ye ne mi ye ne ba mazamo. O ye ne me ma. Chuku ye ne mi ye ne ba mazamo. Ike wa no zobi o. Mi <laughs> Mi hene ba ma, ike wa no zobi yo. Mi hene ba ma, ibu be na ba ma le. Mi hene ba ma, ubu nyo be ye nu. Mi hene ba ma, u me ni he ye lo la le. Tu go ye ne mi hene ba ma, zamo. Child of God, as God. Welcome him. Tell him to come into your challenges. Tell him to come into your trouble. Say, Father, come into my battle. Say, Father, come into this wave of destruction in my life. Abba, Father, I welcome you physically and spiritually in the life of all the Zionites. I welcome you, O oh God, into this battle. Papa, the battle is so severe, O oh Lord. Papa, we can no longer fight this battle alone. Lord, I welcome you into the battle of life. I welcome you into the battle I am passing through, into the battle of my family. I want you to welcome God in that your predicament. I want you to welcome God in that your sorrow. I want you to welcome God in that your challenges. I want you to welcome God in that disappointment. I want you to welcome God in that barrenness case. Therefore, child of God, begin to welcome God, begin to welcome the spirit of God, begin to welcome our lady, begin to welcome the mother of perpetual help, begin to welcome God and his angel, begin to welcome all the hosts of heaven, begin to welcome all the parasitos of heaven Papa, we welcome you. Papa, we welcome you into this family where there is no progress. Into this family where there is no success. Into this family where there is no fruitfulness. Into this family where the enemy is on top of the game. Papa, we welcome you. Have your way, O Lord. In our land, we, O Lion of Judah, have your way, we, O Lord, in my land, we, O Lord. 
the Lord have has his way. The Lord has his way in your life right now. Begin to pray. Tell God about that case. Tell God to fight that battle for you. Tell God to restore. I don't know what you are passing through. I don't know the challenge that you had. That that challenge is killing you. This is the hour. Present that case before the Lord. Your own trouble may not be my own trouble. But God will hear somebody tonight. If only you can pray, the Lord will answer. If only you can pray, the Lord will answer. He said, I am waiting for my people to pray. Because God is waiting at this time. Present your own case. Present your own case. Because God is much around now. He's much around you right now. Represent that case before the Lord. He knows that you have not conceived. He knows that you are still barren. He knows that your business is going down. The Lord knows. The Lord knows. So therefore, tell God about it. Almighty God, our Father, I present my brother and the every members of my family before you. I present all those that are looking up for conception. I present all those that are passing through one challenges, that are passing through one trial, that are passing through temptation before you right now. Papa, arise. Papa, arise. Papa, arise. Papa, arise. Let there be solution. Let there be solution in every case that the Zion Knight are presenting to you tonight. Papa, so many are with one burden. So many are with one burden. So many are in pain. So many are in pain of sickness. So many are in pain of their loved one dying at this time. So many are in pain of cancer. So many are in pain of tumor. So many are in pain of coma. Father, may you go around all the universe right now by the power of your word, by the power of your grace, by the power of your anointing, by the power of your spirit papa visit as many that key in oh lord to this prayer right now because the bible says that the expectation of the righteous shall never be cut off so therefore child of god as many oh lord that are tabling their case before you right now papa visit them 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 Papa, visit them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Child of God, you are going to pray. Many things we are passing through is man-made. It's not natural. I discussed with somebody before I came to this program who was like, Chibu, are you sure that God still exists? He said, Chibu, because I have tried everything. I am crying that my husband is not doing any job. That I'm only one providing to the family. And they ended up sacking me in that little job I am doing. Chibu, what will I do? Is it not better? I go back and seek a solution in another way. But child of God, we are going to pray. That any man or woman that are masterminding your problem, that any man or woman making a sacrifice, or any man or woman that have done evil for you to be in pain and sorrow, tell God to take it back to him right now. Begin to pray that anything they have did against you, that God should take it back to those who did it. Almighty God and Father, whatever battle I am into, whatever I am passing through, whatever going on in my father's house, any battle of my family, every sorrow of my family that are masterminded by any man, that are projected by any man, Papa, may you take it right now. Papa, may you take it right now. Papa, may you take it right now. Because your word says that those that dig at the grave, that they will fall in to the grave. As many have that have dig a grave for me and my brothers. As many that have dig a grave or, or, or dig a grave for Zion ministry. Mighty God, may they begin to fall to that grave. That grave of death that they have dig for me. That grave of sorrow they have dig for me. That grave of disappointment they have dig for me. That grave of trouble they have dig for me. That grave of of scattering my children. Let that evil go back to sender. In the name of Jesus. 
Kunedi Kenaya Aya Gibaya Wemeri Ihi Kulu Gemeni Mendumo Alleluia Kunedi Kenaya Dadi Kune Aya Gibaya Wemeri Odogume Kulu Gemeni Mendumo Alleluia Kunenu di Kenaya, Dadi Naya Gibaya Wemerio, Ihi Kulu Geme Ni Mendumo, Alleluia. Kunenu di Kenaya, Aga Gibaya Wemeri Chuko, Ihi Kulu Geme Ni Mendumo, Hallelujah. I want you to pray over that matter that giving you sleepless nights. Many, their endless exam is giving them sleepless nights. Their children problem is giving them sleepless nights. That case in the court is giving you sleepless nights. Your green card that is not forthcoming is giving you sleepless nights. I don't know that matter that giving you sleepless night. Present it before the Lord. You have been failing. You have been failing exam. You have wrote one, two, three, four, and you fail all of them. All the people that you pass out with today, they are now a registered nurse. They are now a registered doctor. They are now with a good job, but you don't have a job. Child of God, pray. Child of God, pray. Child of God, pray. That the, the, the failure will be over. The failure will be over. The failure will be over. Almighty God, every spirit of failure that following your children, every spirit of failure that eating them deep, every spirit of failure, failure in everything, failure in the spirit, failure in the physical, you spirit of failure, you spirit of failure in my life, you spirit of rising and falling, you spirit of stagnation, you spirit of stagnation that has stagnated me for a very long time, you a barrier, every barrier in me, every barrier, every barrier, every barrier, be destroyed right now, be destroyed right now, be destroyed right now. 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 In the name of Jesus. Many are without job for seven months now. Ah. They cannot even pay their bill again. Papa, as many that are without job, through the intercession of our lady, by the mantle of our spiritual director, Papa, you have never said no to him. Papa, under his grace, as many that are tied up, as many that are held spiritual, as many that took their job away from them and they padlocked them that they will never get another job. As many that when they employ them, the next thing is to sack them. Papa, wherever they are, may the anointing of your son locate them right now. Amen. Are they in US? Are they in Nigeria? Are they in Japan? Are they in Angola? Are they in Australia? Are they in Portugal? Are they in Greece? Are they in France? Are they in Austria? Are they in Cambodia? Wherever your children are right now, but are messed up they padlock them. Come and walk again. Let's see you. You have gone to abroad. Come and return. Let's see you. 
as many that are tied with a charm. Upon anything they have used to oppress you and they hold you in bondage tonight by the unction and by the power of the Holy Ghost through the prophetic unction of a spiritual director. I command that yoke right now. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. In the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Ghost. child of God, be loose, be set free. May the Lord embrace you with a better and a good job. In the name of Jesus, Father, many are in prison, many are suffering in one way or the other. Suffering that they know nothing about. Papa, as many are that are in the spiritual and physical prison, Papa, let them be released now. Amen. For the Bible said that the captive of the mighty shall be speedily delivered. May tonight, may the prison gates open Amen. that all the prisoners will come out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Pray for Zion ministry. Pray for spiritual director. You will not understand. Not until where you are in his seat. Or on his seat. Father, we present your son, your servant before you. We ask you, Father, do not forsake him. Do not abandon him. Remove every bad advisor. Anybody that will advise him wrongly, may that person never come near him. Anybody around him that is not supposed supporting the agenda and the degrowth of the commission, Papa, remove that person. Any back seed around him as many that are bad seed they have no review to him but on your own remove them Papa protect Zion Papa fight the battle of this ministry and may your son and your servant be saved in the name of Jesus may God protect him we cover him with the blood of Jesus in Jesus Christ's name we pray For the life you gave to me, I'm just a hey, thank you. For your son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross, I just want to say, Baba, oh, for the life you gave to us, I've come to say thank you. For your son, Jesus Christ, who died for my sins. Oh, I just want to say uh, May the Lord bless the night worldwide. Amen. Bless you. Amen. May the Lord preserve you. Your family. May you not lack. May the Lord bless Zionites wherever they are, their family. Amen. Protect Zionites all over the world. Amen. May this mission of God in these last days be speedily spreading all over the world. Amen. Amen. Father, thank you for loving us. Thank you, thank you for the grace of prophecy with instant solution. Thank you for the healing and miracles. Thank you for the word. 
Thank you for everything. Thank you for the, the gift of Zion ministry to the world. Thank you for the ministers working here. Thank you for all the singers, ministers, media team, all the team working in Zion ministry. Thank you for, I know their family is blessed. Amen. Thank you for everything you have done for us and what you are going to do more. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. See you today by 11 p.m. I will be with you today by 11 p.m. Nigeria time. God bless you. We have workers in IBG right now, which I'm going to minister. Now, now, now. Remember to belong to a group of Zion ministry. We are working so hard for consultation issue. We know that one of the problems we have here is consultation. Everybody wants to see me. And the way we will map out Friday and Monday for consultation. But from next week, we're going to tell you the guideline, how it's going to be. Uh, for those that have come from different parts of the world without us seeing him, them. And they are so angry, you have to forgive us. And I'm also leading you to God that even when you are not under appointment, you can come and pray. Many have come and touched their leg here and go with miracles. Uh, remember, over there, one seventeen of Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and house of Jacob shall possess their possession. God bless you. Amen. As you help us to organize Zion more, we are running to meet up with the growth of Zion ministry. And that is why. So may God bless some of you that have been exercising patience. Some of you that, uh, oh, when I came, the way security talked to me, I am not happy. Forgive us. Oh, we are going to get better. And uh, some of you who, in one word or other, angry, you need to forgive us. I'm apologizing. We are going to get better. And God will bless all of you. Amen. See you by 11 p.m. for prophetic open heaven. Remember, the longer wedding 100 days is just a month today. Today is 18th. And the 18th of next month, we are starting the journey, the machine, the, the motto of 100 days fasting and prayer program. That journey that always ends with a lot of testimonies, a lot of healing, lame walking, blind seeing, Miracles everywhere. Oh, even inside the hundred days, even before the crusade, many testify. We record on countless miracles anytime we start a journey of hundred days. And this journey is starting 18th of next month. So you have to be ready. And the next week, by God's grace, we're going to announce the venue in which we're going to close it. It is well with you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. I surround you with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Surely. God, goodness, and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. May the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now forevermore. Amen. We fly to your patronage. The Holy Mother of God, despise not our prayers in our necessities, but they bar us from all dangers. We have a glorious and blessed Virgin Mary. Amen. God bless you. See you by 11 p.m. today. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Have I prayed for you before? You're about to commit suicide. Don't commit suicide. Things will turn around for your good. Amen. Where is your wife? Where are your children? Where are your children? Don't commit suicide. Don't commit suicide. Your husband thinks a lot. Things turn around. Things are not working fine. And there is no yet child. Can the liberal child? Where the people come from? You based in Imo State. Eh? Yes, sir. You came from Imo State. Yes, sir. To this program. Yes, sir. God will wipe your tears away. Amen. It is not yet over. Are you aware your husband is already having stroke? Oh, you are not aware he's having stroke? Yes, some person. I have some person here. One side of your body is already dying. You match poison. And that poison entered your body. You are having eba neirungi isisi. From here to hand to leg, neirungi isisi. Not true. You match poison. They want to finish you. You have no child yet, and you are struggling to eat food. You will see what God has done. Hope yourself. 
Open your mouth. Open your mouth. I command the stroke to go back to sender. Amen. And I free two of you from satanic bondage. Amen. And that in mech. And your husband is having a problem already. He's having a problem. He's having a problem. From what make him a man. He's having some problem. But things will turn around. Amen. Oh, Abraham. We have reason for testimony. Get ready for your testimony.